page just a reading here today is september 28th 2024 the time for me is 3 3 3 a.m angel numbers we are here for a brand new capricorn reading no projector clear understanding the truth for understanding now this reading may resonate with you and may not to take what is leave the rest only my angels and ancestors are allowed to this reading i'm about to get ready to do for y'all for coming back hey your new welcome in i'm still taking personals and it is just a reading at gmail.com please be payment ready so i could do your reading all genders are welcome cross watchers too like dislike leave a comment but be respectful to me and to others But this is specifically for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Remember, tarot is your future, your past, and your present. We're going to go ahead and tap into your energy, Capricorn. Female, male, male, female. You gotta tap into your energy or somebody else's energy. Remember, Cheryl can be hijacked by anyone's energy, not just yours. We're gonna see what's going on here. Heavenly Father, please protect me with the blood of Jesus. Let's go ahead and tap into Capricorn's energy. For their person's energy, that's on my mind. Six of Wands. First card for Capricorn. You got the Five of Pentacles that came out. Recovery, charity, improvement. You may be recovering from something. I don't know, some type of um, debt. Maybe being broke. A job that maybe had... Uh, let you go five of pentacles could mean that you are uh, that you were homeless lost a job or something like that or just didn't have enough money but you're definitely recovering from that now so money is finna get ready and come back in for you probably let's we'll see what happens you are the pentacles you are earth this is your card to start off all right you're probably recovering from something here it's gonna be something new coming talk about the recovery well damn you guys are at the bottom of this deck too with the devil okay the high priestess came out in reverse somebody could be holding some type of secrets from you disconnect and a lack of trust self-trust it could be somebody here that's not being honest with you about how the money is getting spent here could be dealing with a a shysty boss somebody that you're working with with the five of pentacles or it could be somebody that you're in a home with or dealing with. But um, somebody here could be holding some type of secrecy here. They don't really want to say what's really going on around them. Somebody could be dancing around something here. Maybe not trying to tell you the truth. Maybe they don't feel like they need to. But why is that though? Tell us more. You got the eight of cups that's crossing, and then you got, yeah, um, you got the moon. You want some type of truth here. I don't think you're going to recover until you get the truth. Is somebody lying to you? Somebody could not be, somebody probably not being honest here. You got the Ace of Wands crossing. With that Eight of Cups crossing, it's like you're on, you're in between and leaving or staying here somewhere. You, you want to find some type of spiritual journey and some type of truth somewhere else. Maybe you're not getting that. 
something got something to do with some type of truth you got somebody that's watching curious trying to be mindful this could be you looking for something i don't know is there something got something to do with something meaning to come out and this is like the ace of wands is like you're desiring something else you're bored somewhere you're lacking that energy you're feeling like you need to create somewhere else and manifest somewhere else okay okay but something is not good here I don't know. Maybe you feel like something is off. Yeah, page of swords act like it wanted to come out in reverse, so we're taking it in reverse. Somebody here is manipulating and talking shit about you. Okay. Something ain't going good. You look like you split up with somebody or somebody or or say so y'all both better go under judgment or somebody else is gonna go under judgment. You got the four of swords crossing. You need to rest. Because you got a lot of stress and you getting burnt out. Okay, somebody here weighing down on your energy here. Because you are the high priest, high priestess. You have like a lot of... Um... <sighs> okay, this don't look nice. It's like somebody just want what they want. And they're not... And it's just like, they playing like a, they're not playing a good game here. Okay. Tell us more about what's going on. Yeah, the sun is here in the reverse. Depression, negativity, darkness, and ignorance. Okay. There's some, there's some bad energy around you, Capricorn. You need to go ahead and probably get away from certain people here because it looks like this ain't this ain't really healthy here i don't know why i feel like it's somebody here that just don't want to see you happy in something like uh, some type of situation here it's like they trying to bring you down or something like that or trying to like bring you bring you with them or something like that but they just like they don't seem healthy like okay so it's definitely stuff that's hidden here it's not being talked about someone don't want to express what the hell is actually going on here I don't know if they scared to open their mouth about it because they don't want to hurt your feelings but it might have something to do with some money. Things are just like up and down right here. And it got a lot to do with your mental state. So whoever this person is, looks like they bringing you down. It's like they're not trying to uplift you. They trying to, they trying to hurt you. Okay. And it could be people talking about you. You know, this person could be talking bad about you this whole time. You know, they and it's just, it's a lot of darkness here. Talk about the recovery and charity and improvement right here. But you're trying to get your money back together with the five of pentacles. Okay, yeah, there's a tower happening. A disaster, things are shifting.
Okay, I'm sorry. Um, something here shifted. What shifted here? Acceptance, moving on, and finding peace. Five of Cups. Okay, something here is ending. Because I think you finna get ready and leave something behind and you're accepting this. You, you don't want to continue to keep on doing this. It's like you and whoever it was up in this tower are not doing good financially anyway. Yep, and it got something to do with anxiety and trauma. The nine of swords here. You, your emotions are overwhelmed. You're feeling, you're feeling emotions somewhere else. It's like you don't feel the same way about whoever this person is. There's somebody here, though, in the spirit that you was following behind. And this tower got destroyed here. You're moving on. You're finna find peace. Because maybe this was a wrong, a, a big mistake here. You're feeling anxiety and hopelessness. And you can't sleep at night with this nine of swords. Something got something to do with this person. Because what is this? Talk about the high priestess in reverse. Okay, the two of pentacles juggling, priorities adapting. Are you trying to adapt to this? Trying to balance out priorities and stuff like that with whoever this person was. Trying to balance out things and couldn't do it. Yeah, these are flying out. Three of Wands, looking ahead, expansion, rapid growth. You want to go somewhere else. Because you're tired of the secrets, the lies, and the bullshit. Someone here is keeping secrets. They lying again. They not being truthful. They keeping up... Um, a cycle look like a karmic cycle here yeah, you're not happy Okay, you trying to look elsewhere. Where are you looking at? It's like you got your hand on these wands and you ready to go. Something is not suiting you no more. Like you're not happy. Yeah, feeling trapped here. Imprisonment, self-victimization. You may be uh, you're may you may be the victim here. Six of Wands. You want you want to get up out of there. You want to be recognized somewhere else. Okay, yeah, you went on a bad trip here. Look like you didn't, you're not really happy here. This person is trying to cut off your intuition too. Don't want you to know what's going on. They want you to stay stupid. Like, oh, do no. They want you to stay dumb. So they might be trying to cut off your, um, your spiritual abilities too to know what's going on here. They don't want you to know. It's like somebody wants you to stay dumb and they want you to stay in the dark about something. So you're on the verge of leaving, but you don't know yet. You drifting, you back to back. Knight of Swords. Fearless. Yeah, you're about to get ready and take off though, but you may be impulsive. Hangman, yep. Sacrificing Pisces energy right here with the King of Swords. So it's like you want to make this decision, but you don't know. You upside down hanging. Could be thinking about the past. Talk about the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this don't look good. Yeah, you're about to move on here. Three of Swords. You finna forgive this person and you finna just move on.
because this is too much. You, you, you're trying to recover and stuff like that, and it's just. I just feel like everything just hit you with a ton of bricks. To a cuss reconciliation. Well, you may be trying to reconcile with somebody else. What is this about? Wanting to move on. Yeah, because you're tired of this shit right here. Arguments, competition, tension. Somebody is doing something. You know what I'm saying? And it's keeping up a bunch of drama here. A lot of arguments. You guys are not seeing eye to eye at all. I feel that tension too. I feel like a heavy burden, a heavy tension. You're not happy. You don't feel good about this situation no more because you're ready to dip up out of here now. You may have been putting up with this for years too. But this person is steady doing the same shit. They got secrecy and hidden agenda still going on in their life here. And you was here the whole time dealing with it. You've even tried to move on and go do other things with other people probably. And it didn't work out with all these people right here fighting. Maybe there's been tension that was caused here. And that's why this is act, act, act out like how it is. Talk about the moon here. Clarity, calmness, and truth. Ten of Pentacles. Because you wanted a legacy. You wanted an inheritance. You wanted a home. But I don't think this person was given that because they wasn't telling the truth. Yep, you're going to need some strength right here. That's Leo energy. Talk about that strength. The Ace of Cups. You got a lot of strong emotions and they're overwhelming here. You know, it's something about your romance and your life and your love and your... You gave all of this in this relationship or whoever you was dealing with. You gave money. You gave strength, that courage, that compassion, that patience. You gave these emotions and this love and this romance to this person, but they kept holding secrets here. You're so emotional right now, Capricorn. But is this somebody from your past or from your present? And I'm gonna figure that out. Talk about the Ace of Wands. Giving up with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're oh, you're tired, you burnt out, you're overwhelmed. You about to go under judgment with this person probably. Angels and ancestors probably get ready to call out to you when it comes down to this situation because it's too much. King of Swords is going to come over head over heart. Self-discipline and truth. Talk about judgment. Talk about judgment. The Empress. You guys are very beautiful, Capricorn. You guys could be a mother. Or Capricorn male, this could be, you know, how you come off. You come with that nurturing, uh, loving, creative energy here. Or this could be somebody that's uh, watching you, that's gonna help you. Somebody that's passed over. That was like a mother. Cause I'm getting that, you know, there's still love and compassion and strength here with this on your end, but not on their end. 
It's like you still want to come in and love. Who's doing this shit talking behind your back though? Or they all talk. They tell you this. They tell you that. And they're not doing what they need to do. They're just giving you the runaround. Who is this person? Yeah. With the seven of cups right here at the bottom, Capricorn. It's a bunch of confusion and daydreaming and false hope. So this person is not being genuine. Who is this shit talker, all talk person? Who is this? Tell us who it is. This could be a Knight of Wands here. They could have fire in the chart, Little Sagittarius, Aries. They come in fearless, very like forceful with a bunch of action here. But their actions are bad. Yeah, because they don't want to change here. Talk about this person. Yeah, two of wands is a fear of change. Plan is say bad planning. Extremes, excess, lack of balance with temperance and reverse seven of pentacles. But you wanted to balance with this person. You wanted to work hard with them. You were reflecting. This is you. You're the pentacles. You could be dealing with a fire sign. But whoever this person is, they do what the fuck they want to do. They're coming off as a princess of wands, knight of wands, switch roles. You could be dealing with the same sex too. Um, but whoever this person is, they like to do what the fuck they want to do. And they're not good at planning shit. They don't want to change. But they play things safe. You know what I'm saying? They try to act like everything okay by, you know, trying to wine and dine you or trying to make you understand certain things. And they feel like you ain't going to go, so... They feel like you're going to continue to keep on growing with them. Because you do want to keep working on this relationship. I don't think you want to give up yet. Talk about the four swords. Needed to sleep but really can't. Yeah, disloyalty, rejection, betrayal, overindulging. That's the three of cups. So this is somebody else involved. Didn't I tell you that this person is playing games with you? And they're not being faithful. They're not being loyal here. They're not. They're playing games here. They're playing a different game. And you may have made a wrong decision by staying with this person and dealing with this person and loving on this person. Y'all may have have kid may have kids or may be married or something like that. But this person ain't it's not it's not really with just you. They with multiple people here. And you may still want to be with them. But they ain't checking for you like that. They got other shit going on. You got to discipline yourself. King of Swords keep popping out. You can't keep on doing this. You in a third party. I mean, I don't know how long y'all been in a third party here. But this is not good. This flew out. I think it's justice. Yep, justice is here. This is Libra energy. Uh, karma's finna come. Truth and fairness. Account People gotta take accountability for their shit. Causes and effects. So this person wanted to do what they want to do. They about to get ready and get a wake up call here, Capricorn. They can't keep on doing this shit. You about to get ready and avoid, make a difficult decision here because you're confused here. And this may be very hard for you. Because this look like it's kind of been going on. Because I've seen the past card. Libra is here to balance out them scales. Talk about this Libra energy with the scales. Justice. Because we are in Libra season. Yep, things are finna get ready and come in. You about to get ready and make a decision quick now. I think you were scared, but you're not scared no more. You're still, you're still trying to figure out, though, on how to go about this decision, though. Because you don't know if, there, if this is going to hurt you in the long run. But wherever you're at, you're not happy with this person. They ain't tripping on you neither because they got other people that they're talking to. It's a bunch of people here. 
uh, 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 sharing messages and shit. You need to get back on your nine of cups by yourself with your temperance or need to go ahead and do that now because it's better to be by yourself. Being in a third party and keep on dealing with a person that keeps on messing around with other people and not really about you because this person is definitely in a third party situation like I told you. They got some secrets and there it goes. They're with, they're with another person here. I don't care what y'all talking about. Anytime the three of cups come in reverse, that's third party. That's third party. Somebody's being disloyal here. They doing stuff with other people. Sexually drinking, whatever they doing, smoking. They're not concerned with you. It's somebody else that's here. That's probably already taking your place. Or this person that you dealing with probably just don't even want you for real like that. They want you when they can get you and that's it. Or just want you around us to say you around. But they got their eyes and ears somewhere else because they're holding secrets. And this ain't the only secret they got. And this is causing a lot of depression and negativity to you. Darkness and stuff like that in your life. I don't know if this is karma for you. I don't know if this is just something that just happened that's new. And uh, you just met this person. But I think that you've been knowing who this person is. It's been going on for a minute. And this is causing nothing but depression and darkness for you all over again. And tell us why. Yeah, the fool is crossing. It's like you made a bad decision. I don't know. You need to kill this off. You need to separate. It's an ending, profound, a change, a rebirth. You need to leave this alone with death. This is not going to go nowhere, Capricorn female male. This is not going to go nowhere. This is bad. This person got so many hidden agendas here and secrecy going on. While you're steady loving on them and helping them and giving them money and love and, you know, love comes with, you know, communication, loyalty, um, and, um, and um, a foundation, which is your home, you know, stuff like that. Sex as well goes hand in hand. You're giving this person all of this stuff and they're not giving you shit. They're giving you the runaround. And they ain't being real. They ain't keeping it real. You need to kill this off. Scorpio energy right there, the fool with that, uh, uh, that Aries energy, that air some people say uh, the fool is Aquarius. It's not. It's not. It's to me. It's it, it's it's uh, Aries. Um. It's like you want a new beginning. You're curious. You want to go to a new path, but you lack that direction because you don't know where to start. It's like having a um. It's like having directions to a place. Like let's just say the address is two five nine. West Walnut Street, and you got that. You got the address, but you don't got your GPS because either your data is not working, your phone is not on, or you know what I'm saying. Your GPS just not working. How you gonna get there? You got the address. You need that directions. You know what I'm saying, or you need a map. You don't have your map. You know what address you want to go to. You just don't know how to get there. You gotta know where you're going to get to where you need to get. And honestly, you're not, you're not prepared. That's the issue. Why are you not prepared? Yeah. Wow. Ten of Swords came out crossing. You're beating yourself up here. Why are you staying in this? What do you want? You need to make a choice. Did you mess up and go somewhere that you, you wasn't supposed to be going to again? You went somewhere that was not good. You're back somewhere. It looks like you went back to something that was bad. only going to get worse here. You may get really sick and may end up hurt. And then this person may put you on 
and I'm not trying to get on no, you know, criminal stuff, but this stuff, tarot, can lead to death, you know, criminal activity and all that. There's been people who have did readings on people's um, lifespan and their lifeline. This could end up, end up bad. You know what I'm saying? You keep dealing with somebody who got all these people. You don't know who this people is bringing around. You don't know what this, pe this person got out there. So you don't know what they doing. They doing foul play and you keep getting hurt. And this could actually really mess with your health on the outside, physically. And you could get hurt. It's like, you're already, it's like you can't get no more hurt. And you crossing. Yeah, man, this is bad. And you got the nine, you got the star here. Creative opportunities, renewal, hope, and faith. You're praying, hoping, and wishing this shit change. You're trying to push through nine of wands. This ain't it. Capricorn, male, female, this ain't it. It's no balance. Y'all can have Sagittarius in y'all chart. There's no balance here. There's so much confusion. Um, I'm gonna get... <sighs> Lord Jesus. What's going to get ready to happen? Who is this empress, emperor? Who is these people you fighting with? It's like you fighting with a whole family here. What is this nine of swords? Why are you trapped? Like, what is this? And is, and, and, and is this old love or new love? We're going to get ready and find out with that ace of cups. This don't look good for you. It just look like it's all wrapped up in some bullshit. It's like you got yourself involved with the wrong person here and they steady doing the same shit while you're just sitting there hoping and praying that it goes away. And I think y'all cry about this too. Y'all cry yourselves to sleep about it because y'all can't sleep with that nine of swords that came out. Can't even sleep at night because this shit is so bad. And that's horrible. <sighs> this is going to be last with your Ace of Cups. Who are you fighting with? Who is this person? We're going to figure out why you can't sleep. Who this Empress is. Why there's no balance. Why they want to keep you trapped. What's new finna come with this Eight of Wands? And what's going to happen with this Ace of Cups? Now, first off, I'm about to get ready to ask some clear yes or no answers. Now, I'm going to ask, is this person that you are arguing with somebody that's in present time? If it is, then you know. Is this Capricorn arguing with somebody that they are currently dealing with? Is the arguments someone that... Capricorn is currently dealing with are the arguments with someone that Capricorn is currently dealing with yes rip tie for the pick in perfect time and get ready yeah it's time for you to get ready so this is somebody that you're dealing with now it says yes it says golden opportunity clouds lift and clear skies so you got to get away from this person in order to get some clear skies because it don't look like it's you know it don't look clear over there on that side of town it look real dim Talk more about this situation then. Talk more about it. All this arguing and fighting for what? Talk about it. Clarity, sharp mind and logic. Cause you wanna know the truth about something. You putting your foot down on this person. You want, you want them to stop bullshitting with you. You wanna know the fucking truth. But see, they're not going to give you that. They're going to lack that. They're going to lack giving you what you need. They're going to continue with this, this cycle with you. It came out crossing. This person is a round and round we go. A merry-go-round. They don't want to tell you shit. They just want to keep you going around and around in circles with them. This person got you in a bunch of confusion. A bunch of confusion. And this is horrible. This person ain't finna give you the truth right now. And let me ask, 
angels and ancestors is this person that capricorn dealing with going to give them the truth Is this person that Capricorn dealing with going to give them the truth anytime soon? There we go. Is this person that Capricorn is dealing with going to give them the truth anytime soon? Is this person that Capricorn is dealing with going to give them the truth anytime soon? No. You can't fake it now with glitters and gold. There it goes. This person ain't finna give you the truth no time soon. And this is somebody that you're dealing with right now. You need to grow. Get up out of there. This person, this is not, this is not happiness right here. This is nothing but straight up bullshit. This person ain't finna do that. I'm letting you know that right now. I already knew that before I pulled them cards. I even said they're not gonna give you the truth and they're not going to. They gonna continue to keep on lying to you and keep you stuck. Cause there's something about you that they want. They want you to stay with them for the rest of their life because I don't know what it is that you got, but they feed off of you. And they want you to stay there. Even if they got to trap you for the rest of their life with kids, with with uh, materialistic things, they want to keep you here. And now we got you in anxiety and trauma and got you hopeless. There we go. The devil right here. Bondage. They want to keep you tied in, Capricorn. They don't want to let you go. There you go. This person could be another Capricorn. They are manipulative as fuck here. From the past. This is somebody you got history with. This person likes money. They like money. King of Wands, and you provide money here. They like this about you, but this is your energy too, Cap. They like how you give them pleasure. They like how you're a leader. Is this person using Capricorn for whatever they can get? Is this person using Capricorn for whatever, for whatever they can get? Is this person using Capricorn for whatever they can get? Yes. Taking flight, uplifted, and peaceful decisions. Yeah. They make these, and, and they're peaceful with asking these things from you. They're peaceful with their decisions. They like asking you for shit. Whether it's sex, pleasure, money, they see you as this king of wands energy. They're so fucking manipulative, it's ridiculous, and they cold. They could be a water sign that you're dealing with. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They love getting whatever they could get out of you. Who is this Empress? Who are you? Yeah, you about to get ready to withdraw from this person. It's a lot of sadness here, isolation. That could be you, um, Empress Capricorn female, Emperor Capricorn male, or this could be the, the baby's mother Capricorn male, or you could be the baby mother Capricorn female. But whoever this person is, you know what I'm saying? You might have seen this beautiful love and energy out of this person before. But now they're making you want to isolate and withdraw from them and be lonely because this person makes you sad. Virgo energy with the hermit. Yeah. And you feel stuck. You feel stuck here. Like you can't move. This person could have did spell work on you too or just want you to stay with them because they fucking miserable. Could be a queen of swords, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here very cold and this person is very cold they don't come off as a hot attraction loving caring person they come off as very bitter and cold
why is there no balance here it's a bunch of confusion here and you don't know if you're ready to leave or not because there's so many unresolved issues here with this person Yep, the magician in fucking reverse. Oh yeah, somebody doing, oh, seven of swords. Oh, this person keeps holding on to you. They don't wanna let go. They wanna secure you forever. They're being very sneaky here with that magician in reverse. They doing black magic. I don't care what nobody said. Magician in reverse is black magic all day. Hoodoo, voodoo, witchcraft, santaria. Shut up, uh, bruja. King of cups. This person is like super emotional over you. And they losing their mind because they don't want to lose you. So they'll do work on you if they have to. Why is this moving so fast here? But what's gonna move fast here? Confusion right here is 50-50 here. So if you do try to get out of this situation, it's gonna be a 50-50 thing. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be temptation, illusions. This person may come at you with a sex offer. You know what I'm saying? They may include a third party to make you stay. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna hit you with all kinds of sexual acts be careful of that because the devil does rule sex. So this person has a lot of temptations and bad bondage and bad evil intentions with you. Um, and they're gonna not only do it with your mental, but your physical. So they're gonna be co coming with a bunch of, so get ready for these illusions too, when it comes down to sex. Cause they know exactly what they are doing too. Yep, with the lovers crossing, man, there you go. Infidelity. Ooh, we, this is nasty work. Is this person that Capricorn is dealing with going to come in with dirty offers? Is this person that Capricorn is dealing with going to come in with dirty offers? Is this person that Capricorn is dealing with going to come in with dirty offers? Yes, neatly tied up, secure, tr trustworthy connection. They feel like you need to trust them. You need to be connected to them. There it goes with that fucking uh, rope tied up like that. They want to keep you tied up. They're coming with dirty offers. You might have broken up with this person and they can't get over you. They still want to keep you there and they'll do whatever the fuck they can to make sure you're not going to leave them. So they're going to give you what you want, but the way they're doing it is with evil intent, but they're not telling you. They're secretive. Oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give Capricorn what they need, what they want, so-called, blah, blah, blah. But little do they know, I'm going to fuck them over. That's what they're doing. They're trying to keep you trapped here. Why are they trying to keep you trapped? Are they trying to keep you from leaving with a new love, a new opportunity, new feeling somewhere else, romance somewhere else? Because if so, this is lame shit. Stay in your lane, bitch. It's like they don't want you to go. And it's crazy. I'm asking all these questions and everything is adding up. So how this this person really is. Tell us about how they trying to keep you uh, keep Capricorn trapped up, locked up. Why? Why are they trying to keep Capricorn trapped? Yeah, they don't want you to go explore the world. They don't want you to be complex. This shit is crossing. It's like 50-50. It's like sometimes they do want you to go. They fed up with you, but then they don't want you to go. They want to keep you in and out, up and in. You know what I'm saying? Up and down, round and round. They don't want you to go be that earth angel. They don't want you to go expand. They don't want you to move. They want you to stay stuck. They don't want you to complete. They want you to uh, not succeed. They say that they love you. And you know, this person is good with their tongue. 
They say they love you, they want you to go, they want you to do all this blah, 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 blah bullshit. But that's not what their heart is really giving. They give in words. Look at how greedy and possessive and attached they is to you. They don't want you to go nowhere. It's like you're their property. I'm telling you right now, Capricorn, you are not a slave. You're not a slave. You don't deserve to be used. There is no home here. If y'all had kids or have kids on the way and you guys were married in a home together, this ain't no home. Broken family. This ain't no home, boo. And this is you two deciding if you want to move forward too and leave. You 50-50. You, you want to fulfill your dreams and go somewhere else and accomplish elsewhere. But then you feel like you don't want to. You want to succeed and, and manifest there. But how you going to manifest a home with somebody who don't even want a fucking home? Does this person even want a home with Capricorn? Does this person even want a home with Capricorn? Do they even want a home with Capricorn? Let's just put it like this. Does this person even want a foundation with Capricorn? Does this person even want a foundation with Capricorn? Does this person even want a foundation with Capricorn? Sorry. Does this person even want a foundation with Capricorn? No. No frills. Wait for more. Plain to see it won't work. It won't work. This person don't want that. And I've seen this, yes, clearing the air, refresh, and change. And this came out before this one. You need to clear the air, a refresh, you need to change. In order for this person to want some, they got to change, bro. And to them, there's not going to be nothing here. Talk about this Ace of Cups. This person don't want no change. They need to clear shit up, though. This person looks like they're a narcissist. What they say goes... And when you call them out, they're like, eh, it's not that deep. Why are you blowing it out of proportion like that? You know, it's not that deep. Talk about the emotions and the new feelings. Here you go right here, Capricorn. Go ahead and get back to being on your hard working stage and be efficient and be responsible. There's some love out there. You can find new love. You don't need to be with this person. Maybe you feel like you need to because you feel like you have nowhere else to go. You guys probably share a house or an apartment, condo, duplex, townhouse, uh, mobile home, whatever place y'all live in. And you're not trying to leave because you don't know where to go. And you was trying to make this work. But this person is sneaky, man. They got tricks and tactics up their sleeve. And they playing a strategy game with you. They're in charge. You're not. You lost that. You need to stop holding on. You're afraid to move forward. You're going to make yourself sick here, Cap. You're going to get yourself really sick. You got to get willpower and confidence to get the fuck up out of here. Because you are the king of pentacles, queen of pentacles. What are you doing? Eight of pentacles. Fall up behind the knight of cups. You have romantic and ideal and, and, and ideas with an ideal perspective somewhere else. You can go find love somewhere else to find a different partnership and unity. You don't need this shit. Will Capricorn get the willpower to move on from this damaging relationship? Will Capricorn get willpower to move on from this damaging relationship? No. Current's too strong. Find solid ground. Yeah, not right now. But you are full of possibilities, plenty of creativity and abundance. You got it going on. But right now, it's like you stuck. I think it's because you don't want to lose your home. So you still stuck living with this person, but you're unhappy. You ain't happy with them. But you're not telling your business. You're very... Capricorn people are very quiet. You guys are very quiet. Um, keep to yourself type of people. Don't want people to know y'all business. 
Y'all are very secretive and y'all are y'all believe in a private life. Y'all like y'all privacy. Y'all are not telling people what's going on though. And y'all putting on a face so people won't talk shit. Cause y'all don't like people getting information on y'all and talking about y'all or saying nothing about y'all. Because y'all feel embarrassed when that shit happens. And one thing y'all do not like is to be embarrassed. No earth sign likes to be embarrassed. Let's go ahead and get into out of time wellness card. This is awful though, uh, Capricorn. This has been going on for some. Let me ask that too. Has this relationship been going on for years? Has this relationship been going on for years? Yes. Sweet satisfaction, good taste, savor in it. This has been going on for years and this person's been loving this shit. You was loving it too at one point of time too and probably still do, but this is not good. It's very unhealthy. It's like makeup to break up, a lot of sex, damaging, argument fights, people talking about each other, family getting involved, other people getting involved on the outside, like third parties, um, cheating, infidelity, lying, stealing. It's too much. It was too much of this shit up in this reading. Talk about it. What's going to happen? Talk about it. Heartbroken and kisses. Unconditional loving, giving, receiving, and falling in love. You know, that's what you was doing for this person. You was kissing on them, loving on them. But heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. Y'all probably broke up because it's time. This shit is ridiculous. It says lightning. A sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, uphill transformation. So there's going to be some news that's going to get ready to come out about you and them. You got to heal your heart. Heal it from a heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So you got to heal from this right here. I don't think you have. Because it's still ongoing. something a mountain yeah it's time for you to move some got something to do with mountains going into the mountains leaving moving mountains that's what i'm hearing tree it's time for growth Here go a man, and this is a clover. But this man looks kind of mad. He was looking at that tree, cause he wanted growth, and then a key. You got a three, uh, what a three-leaf clover here. You can find love and happiness elsewhere. Talk about a cosmic insight. What's going on deep in this relationship? Go ahead and be real. We are gonna pull four. That's intimate, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. That so I said somebody got a sex bondage on you. They could be doing sex magic on you and want you to come back sexually. But they're gonna confess something to you. Someone has something to tell you. They could have been cheating with somebody else, narcissist. Someone is full of themselves. There you go. Didn't I tell y'all? A liar. Be careful. Someone is sneaky. Didn't I tell y'all? gold digger they want they want to uh they want your money being used up here they go that flew out and what this say 
I seen manifest. I'm gonna pull, four, I'm gonna pull eight of these. I wanna see what's going on. Somebody gonna confess maybe they stole money from you and had sex with somebody else. I see health. These cards kind of act like they just want to fly out. Yup, a love spell. There you go. Somebody did some love spell magic on you like I told y'all. Somebody's doing spell work on you. I keep seeing distance. You and them are unavailable at a distance. And then it's saying that you need to move on. This is a waste of time. And I keep seeing that help card. There it go. Shuffle, let it come out. Honeymoon, attending somebody's wedding. Or oh, this person wants you to meet up with them again. A change in residence, moving in with your partner. And y'all might have just moved into a place or something like that. Just had a honeymoon, got married, but now it's going downhill. Because it's someone else. There it goes. Someone else is in the middle of this. So, yep, you might have made a big mistake here. Or this person could be moving in with somebody else right here and want to get married to somebody else. And I'm about to get ready and ask. Because I've seen vacation here. Intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back later to bite you. Yep, and vacation. This person may be traveling or something soon. Let me go ahead and get, get, get a reading right here. Does Capricorn's person have a third party going on with someone else? Does Capricorn's person have a third party going on somewhere else? Does Capricorn's person have a third party going on somewhere else? Does Capricorn's person got a third party going on somewhere else? Yes. Glowing results, clarity, seeing the whole picture. You about to get ready. There it goes. And yes, hot opportunities, fired up, burning desires fulfilled. This person got fire and love for somebody else that's built up. They don't want to be with you. Does this person still want to be with Capricorn while having a third party? Does this person want to be with Capricorn while having a third party? Answer. Yeah, they still want to be with you while they're having this third party. They're fitting it all up into place coming together. They want y'all both to come together. They want y'all all to be together. Ooh, this is some nasty shit. Let me get a kipper. Wow. So they're planning shit other, other places. They don't want you. Come on, kipper, give me something good. Tell me something. Tell me something. This is dead, Cap. This is dead. Number 19. Could be your birthday. This person is like not doing what they said. Yup, false person. Gift and thoughts. Unexpected income. Somebody may come give you some money or whatever may have been, been unexpected here with you and this person. 
But some got something to do with some money. Sudden wealth. You're about to get some money here. And maybe that's why they want to keep you around. Or you always get it paid. Quick. You're going to get some money somewhere else. They see money with you. You're a mature woman or mature man. So you've been handling your business. Money is coming your way though. You know that. Let's get a dog card and see what's going on. Thank you. It says... Which at the end of the world, an important end, a new beginning. This is a end, and this is an important end. You gotta leave this alone. Let this shit end. It's important for you to let it end because it's gonna help you. It's not gonna hurt you. It's gonna make you feel some type of way, but it's not gonna hurt you, it's gonna help you. Let's go ahead and get into the naked truth here. Let's see what this no good ass person want to say to you though. What do you want to say to Cat? What do you want to say to Cat? What do you want to say to Kat? I'm on a spiritual journey. You have awakened me. Okay, this person claiming that they're on a spiritual journey, which is, I feel like it's Kat. What else do you want to say? I keep looking at your pictures and not to mention the videos we made. Oh my God, I will never delete them. Yeah, they keep looking at you. I think we did see the page. Yeah, and they talking about you too. I'm at a crossroads. Should I fight for this or move on? Relationships are a lot of work. Being single is easier. Yeah, that's why they doing all this cheating and shit. I hate that I hurt you. You didn't deserve this. Please don't blame yourself. It was my fault, yeah. Now they blaming themselves. Y'all broke up. Well. True emotions. Let's get into it. And I'm going to pull five true emotion cards. Let's see what they emotions got for you. What is this person's true emotions for a cat? Look, spell love. They doing a bunch of spell work. They doing that shit. They doing a lot of black mass tragedy. I see massive regrets. This man was hitting on his head. So the true emotions of this person, they running. Yup, and running was here. They running from this shit. Fucked up over you. This is a karmic lesson of Capricorn. Y'all was bumping heads too much. You are divine masculine, by the way. Divine feminine. One more. Oh, they getting readings on you and they trying to cope. Something about a love child too. So y'all might've had a baby out of wedlock. Or they trying to get pregnant with you again. Or they want to get you pregnant again. So this wasn't this wasn't genuine. Let me let me see. Was this person ever genuine from the start? Was this person ever genuine from the start? 
Was this person ever genuine from the start? Oh, both of these fell out. I see no. I see yes. I don't know. Because they both flew out. I need one, though. We only take one. Was this person ever genuine from the start? No. Not able to proceed close to negotiation. Yeah. They wasn't trying to negotiate with you from the beginning. Nah, they was never trying to negotiate with you. They was never trying to be genuine. They was never trying to shake your hand and be a good person and be on the same page as you and sign that deal. They made you sign the NDA and they just let you fuck. And they didn't have to sign nothing. This person was never genuine with you. And they're going to start cock blocking too. I feel like that too. They're going to start and I see screenshots. They're going to start cock blocking so you don't move ahead. Because now I think they know you're done. You was giving this person money for sure. What I pulled, four, five, six. I pulled seven, right? Of the first ones. You're going to pull seven from here too. How about that? Talk about their teeth. Spill their teeth. Hustling. It says making it rain, focused on money getting. Yeah, and you was you was working, hustling. You a hustler. You was getting your money, trying to feed your family, trying to do what you needed to do. And this person was playing scarcity tech. Like I, then I said something about them playing chess, and they're playing games. Talk about this person knows you hustle. They like to start drama with you. shine your light irritates their demons yep the way you shine on this person this person is carless or you're you don't have no car now due to this shit that's going on car issues and they fucking broke they broke so this person don't do shit this person don't got no car no more you might have took their car your car may be gone now because of them because they want to be petty because they broke. They may have went to go take the... Maybe sold the car that you had to go get some money because they fucking broke. But some here, somebody here don't got no car. They ain't got no money. They don't got shit. They shit out of luck because of you. It's horrible. First deck of my handwritten cards. Let's see what they got to say. And we're going to pull a total of six. What this say? I'm sorry if I made you feel worthless. That's what they want to say to you. Remember, we're going to pull six. What else you want to say to Capricorn? Having threesomes, having sex with random people. There it goes. There it goes. This person is cheating on you. What I tell you? This person don't love you and you need to be careful because this person can come back and give you something that is uncurable. Jesus. This person is a, I'm sorry, they is a slut, a whore, a man whore, a f, f boy, they all of that. They are all of that. I did lie a lot. There we go. Sad. <coughs> Excuse me. In a relationship with a karmic while being with you. So they're balancing and they pocket watching you. So they're in a they're in a relationship with you while dealing with a karmic. So they got it's a third party here. And I'm gonna figure out who that fire. Somebody got fire in their chart. Look, they want you to come over. This person wants to have sex with you again. 
this person is like a, a, a like a um it's like a sex addiction. You may have one because of them. I want to have a baby with you, boy. Girl, they want to trap you. They want to trap you again. And look, I'm so tired of being alone. This person is is something. Lord Jesus, they're a mess. I'm in danger right now. I need help. Remember, this is the second deck. So they got something going on. Maybe this third party is about to get rain, get on their ass. Somebody lives in New York or nearby New York. Got family in New York. Finna move to New York. Nearby New York is like uh, Jersey, Maine, Connecticut, PA, Baltimore, DC, down below Florida, over there in that little area. If I bought you a ring to marry you, would you say I do? Yeah, this person wants to try to talk about marriage and they want to know if you'll marry them after all the bull crap and the threesomes and this is just filthy they wish they could tell you how much they care and love you but pride is in the way of that yeah they got pride issues cat this is a narcissist They lonely now. Something went down with that uh, third party. I don't think that third party fucking with them. The last card, can I get something good, please? I seen Washington, D.C., Kansas. this one there you go stressed oh yeah they stressed out they wanted to be like you what faithful should capricorn go back to this person should capricorn go back to this person Did Capricorn go back to this person? No. Not ready to get started. Plans aren't fully formed. There's no plans here. No again. The sun says it's time to conclude. No. Misled by false signals. Steer clear. There we go. No. Making a final effort. Falling away. Withering. No. You got four no's. No, 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 and no. You can go have anybody you want. You got money. You got yourself. You're still here. You need to get your mind right. You need to leave this alone. You're being misled by false signals. This person don't want you like that. They want their life being single, and they want to have a life of being in a relationship. They want two things at one time. They want their cake and eat it, too. They not ready to start. They don't have no plans. This person wants you to come over so you can do the nasty with them. Your sex must be incredible. Your aura and that money must be good. And they want you to come back because they miss that. They don't miss you. They miss the shit you have, what you can give them. This is a final effort. This is falling away. It's not there no more. It's time for you to set the sunset. And it's time for you to conclude. There's nothing here. What do you continue to keep on holding on to it for? This whole reading was basura. It was trash. There's nothing good here. Would you want me to sit here and lie like the rest of these people on here? I ain't finna do that. I'm finna tell you the truth. 
Go ahead and give me an astrology card and tell me what's going to happen for Cap. Tell us. What's going to happen? It says right here, Capricorn, void of course, moon missing, 52. So everything is probably voided right now. Not moving how it should be during the course of time. Because there's a missing moon. There's something missing here. And it's you. You're the one that's missing. Let's go ahead and get you... An angel card, and we're gonna leave it out with a Bible scripture card. What you want to say to Capricorn angels? What do you need to say? I'm gonna take both of these. It says forgiveness. Forgive this person, though. In order to move on, forgive them. And this is not the right time for you with this person. It's not the right time. Forgive them though. Let's get into a Bible scripture card. Let's see what the man above got to say to you, Capricorn. It's all about forgiveness though. It's time to move on though. This ain't, this ain't working. So the man above got to say, the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. John 14, 26. You don't need nobody's help but him. You need to get help. You need to learn something. He gonna teach you. Go to him and ask him to give you strength to forgive this person. It's not the right time probably to go to them or reaching out because this person is in a lusty energy right now. This person wants to get freaky with you and they want some money and they want more than what they can bargain for. And you need to stay away from that right now. Get the strength first to forgive this person. Get the strength to leave this person. Get the strength to get yourself back through the man above until next time Capricorn I don't do readings for y'all all the time but something told me to do one cause y'all going through it hopefully you get past this what they say this too shall pass bye